What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. VAZ. Welcome back to Food Delivery Stories. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm almost at 100 subscribers, baby. Let's do this. You heard me? <laughs> hit the bell, hit the like, comment what you think about the story. Let's do what it do. This is my personal uh, story. The reason why I feel I got deactivated by Postmates. Uh, first of all, I know everybody has their opinions on Postmates. Um, in my area, Postmates was only good for Walmart. Um, there's, there was some big money in my area just for the simple fact there was some big tippers. You know, I averaged over 100 a day doing just Walmart in the beginning stages of it. Um, I didn't last in Postmates that long because of the story I'm about to tell you. So, it was a regular day. Um, I usually start at 7 over there to get orders from Walmart in the morning. I usually work all the way till nighttime to close. At least the pickup area to close. So, uh, you know, I was in a row that day. Um, it was about 2 o'clock, I believe. And I went to go pick up an order. And uh, mind you, this Walmart, I always go to this Walmart specifically. So everybody knows me there. So I'm like, I'm picking up an order for such and such. And he told me, hey, man, somebody said you already picked it up. And I'm like, well, what do you mean? He's like... Well, somebody pressed OK that you picked up. I said, well, I never picked up this order. And I showed him the phone. I said, I'm here now. Why would I come now if I picked it up? So he went to double check. I immediately go to my phone and start, you know, looking up the Postmates number to call him to see what's going on. He comes back. Yeah, they, somebody wrote it down saying that you, um, they gave it to you. I'm thinking to myself, OK, maybe it was a new person that messed up, whatever. I called Postmates. Let them know what's going on. They wrote it down. Uh, first of all, just so you guys know, when it comes to these apps, the less you could talk to the customer service on the phones, you know, when they help you, the better. Don't don't get on their radar calling all the time. You know, that's that's one of my things. I don't like to call them. I always try to get solve everything myself. But at this point, somebody else pretty much took my identity, I guess. So I go back later that night. I pick up. And the lady that's usually there, she tells me, hey, um, I heard about, you know, what happened. And that vehicle came back an hour ago to pick up another order while they still had all the groceries in the back seat from the order you were supposed to pick up. She told me it was a guy and a woman, I guess a couple. So I'm thinking to myself, what's going on here? Um, and she tells me, well... They said that the customer wasn't there, so they just kept the groceries or whatever. They didn't know what to do. I'm thinking to myself, okay, this doesn't even sound right. So I called Postmates again and let them know what's going on. Like, hey, guys, here we go again. So at that point, I'm thinking to myself, okay, they got two reports from me in one day. And like I said, I don't like calling them that much. So some time goes by. And um, it was weird because I think I got deactivated the day after my birthday. <laughs> um, so on my birthday, they text me saying, you know, happy birthday. Thanks for being on the platform and all that crap. Then the next day I got deactivated. And what happened the next day was I was on the road again. It was around noon. I was there from seven. I was getting an order every hour. As I'm taking an order to a regular, I get a, a text from Postmates on the app saying, this will be your last delivery. You can no longer work the platform. That's it. So I took it to the regular. I didn't know what's going on. At this point, I just want to get that delivery done. So I get back to park my car and, you know, figure out what's going on. So I called them. I said, well, what's going on? Oh, uh, you violated one of the, the you know, those, those paragraphs they send you when you get deactivated saying you did one of these, but they're not specific to tell you which one. They won't let you defend yourself or whatever. So um, I was like, well, does this have to do with the report I did a while ago about the person that picked up my orders, that tried to pick up my second order and picked up my first order, that it wasn't me. They didn't give me the information. I appealed it so many times. And it kept on saying the same thing. You uh, violated one of these codes of the paragraphs. So at that point, I'm pissed off. So I move along. Mind you, I got other apps. Uh, definitely download all the apps you can um, get approved for. 
so I signed up for Uber Eats. Um, I wasn't doing it as a full-time situation for Uber Eats. It was more I had it turned on in case, you know, a good order came. But I, um, at nighttime for dinner in a certain area where I live, they had the, a lot of Quest. Like, you get paid an extra four bucks per order, two bucks or whatever. So that was pretty cool. So I was doing fine with them. Then all of a sudden, as you know, they bought out Postmates and I get the text from them as well saying, you know, matter of fact, hold on. I got the text from them after my birthday. I take that back. I apologize. I got deactivated from Postmates and I kept appealing and nothing happened. Uber was the one that uh, texted me the happy birthday. And the next day I got deactivated. And they told me I got a text from them saying because... I violated something from Postmates, I automatically got deactivated. Now, all you drivers out there who get deactivated by a certain app, if another app buys that app and you have the other one, you will be activated, deactivated automatically from that app. Let that be clear. So Uber bought out Postmates. I was deactivated by Postmates, so they automatically deactivated me. They didn't want to hear what I got to say or nothing. All my appeals, which I had a lot of appeals, um, and the crazy part is I can still log on right now into both apps. The funny part was, I think I tried to appeal Postmates again, like some months after, and it turned out I had over $60 in there and nobody ever told me. So I cashed it out. So pretty much I can log into both apps and see everything except work. So, you know, be careful out there. You know, to, to that driver and the woman I was with, I'm sorry, man, but F you, man. I'm out here trying to make an honest living, and people always got to mess it up for everybody, man. It just sucks. But um, you live and you learn. We keep pushing forward. Download all the apps you can. Remember, these apps don't give a damn about you. I am grateful for being on the platform. But remember, also, these apps will get rid of you and hire 10 new drivers the next day. Let's be honest. Okay, so download all the apps you can because, in my opinion, these apps are destroying themselves. That's my opinion. But um, we keep it pushing until we can't push no more. We keep going to different directions. One door closes, the other one opens. You know how that go. You know, keep it moving. Um, be safe out there, drivers. And uh, get that money, man. Get that money.